Just as any rugby league match is in itself the sum of many parts, so too the logo that will be the game's guiding symbol and badge of honour through centenary year 2008. A league game mixes many life qualities, experience, guile, courage and skill among them, along with the physical elements of strength, speed, footwork and endurance, underpinning all of that in the best of teams and the best of players is something beyond measuring, a spirit of never say die. In ways that are both subtle and reflective, the 2008 centenary logo says many things about the game's 100 years progress. Within its layered format, so respectful to the distinctive typography, shapes and symbols of earlier times, lie a thousand stories and a thousand memories. The ball, which is the logo's backdrop, recalls times when the rugby ball was much rounder and larger than it is today. All the way back to an era when it was comprised of a pig's bladder inserted into hand-stitched cowhide casing. For many years it was the tradition that the premieres of each season would be photographed with a ball on which had been painted the year of their triumph. The distinctive butcher's stripe, alternating double thick and thin stripes, and now featured within the traditional V on the centenary logo, has been a hallmark of rugby league since foundation year 1908. The pioneering kangaroo tourists had with them packed in their trunks butcher's stripe jerseys of alternate maroon and sky blue for Queensland and New South Wales, representing the binding together of the two states. The V on a jumper, represented here, has been a strong, simple statement of teams way beyond counting down the years. Since 1928, the basic gumnut green of the Australian jersey has been splashed with a golden V. So too the mighty St George sported a V when they won 11 straight premierships. The A, enclosing both silver fern and kangaroo, represented in its initial unveiling, Australasia. This was the brand of the brilliantly successful second Kangaroos, dashingly led by Chris McKivitt on the Ashes winning tour of 1911-1912. That team of 28 included four New Zealanders and therefore was a genuinely Australasian side. Use of the A on the 2008 logo recalls a fabled tour whose achievements set the standard for all subsequent kangaroo campaigns. In the rugby league context, the years that flank the logo, 1908 and 2008, are nothing less than milestones for the ages. Could James Giltonen and the brave pioneers of 1908 have even possibly dared to dream that in 2008, their game would be the winter sport of choice for millions of Australians? What a sporting story it is. From the first clandestine steps of August 1907, the first games played in hope in the autumn of 1908 to what there is today. The scroll delivers the proudest of all messages for this season of celebration, centenary of rugby league. The lingering impression of a logo intertwining many features is of a milestone reached and a sense of pausing to reflect before moving on with determination as Rugby League has always done to the next 100 seasons. 2008's logo bears typography which speaks of a time when every possible effort was taken in crafting the game's words and symbols. The inscribed trophies of the past century contain beautifully crafted graphic work in the name of Rugby League. Here in tomorrow's logo, we choose to pay homage to that tradition recreating the fine art of another time, but also updating and refreshing it in tune with the times.